Well, howdy y'all, Handy Redneck here. It's uh, February 17th, and uh, I have decided that we're going to finish off our gar or our um, turmeric and ginger that, um, as you can see, uh, has died back. And we're, we're, we're going to trim it up here and get, get it out of these buckets and get it ready to use or replant. Uh, like this one here that was up on top. Uh, we can use that or replant it pretty quick. This is, this is a ginger. In this bucket here, I think we've got both ginger and turmeric but we're going to find out <clears throat> and see what we got I found another little piece There's a third little piece. This is, this is not a good crop this year. But not every crop can be a, a spectacular crop. My ginger hasn't been doing too hot the last couple of years. But the turmeric has been doing better. Uh, if you look carefully, this one's getting ready to sprout again. So... We'll see about getting it out and into uh, a better conditions because this pot of soil is really depleted and is really not the type of soil you want for your ginger it, 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 or your turmeric. It kind of got heavy. Now this one, this one is a. Uh, Looks to be mostly turmeric. Now turmeric is a cousin to ginger, but it's um some people would probably say it's a bit more spicy. Um I like it. And it looks like we might have a good bit of it in here. Uh yeah, this one's starting to sprout out too. I really should have harvested these uh, earlier, but I wanted to let them die back and then dry out a bit. Oh yeah, this is this is looking nice in here. Look, look at this in here. This is looking really nice. That has got some really nice pieces on it and really nice root growth. Uh, these are the rhizomes and these are the roots. And yeah, that that is actually really gorgeous. That is really gorgeous fresh turmeric. Oh yeah. I'll look or feel around in this bucket a little more. Ah, oh, that's about empty. Yeah, I got other uses for these pots and the dirt in them. I'll uh go through and re-energize the soil in it and uh, probably pot up some tomatoes or peppers <laughs> and let them uh, just chill for a little while in these nice big pots before they go out into the garden. Uh, this one looks to be another pot of turmeric. I still got, ooh, 
we might have another real good pot here. Um, I still got eight or nine pots in storage that I'm going to pull out later and uh, we'll see what we get. But I figured I'd bring you along for these first couple because I, I live here in Arkansas um, somewhere between um, Hardy in this zones six and seven uh, and uh, folks say you can't grow certain things where we're at because it's too hot or it's too cold or this or that and this 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 one this has not done too good in this soil but we did get a little bit of it so if nothing else we got something to plant back into better soil but anyway people say you can't grow this or you can't grow that and I like to prove them wrong and grow stuff that they say I can't you know like a uh, my rhubarb outside they said everyone keeps telling me it's way too hot for rhubarb it's way too hot for rhubarb rhubarb don't grow well this rhubarb has been growing for over 20 years in that one spot so it ain't too hot yeah if you look there we got a little bit of ginger and a little bit of turmeric um, I got a lot more work to do with these but thanks for coming along with me so here's a handy redneck I'll talk to you later